Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about relationship. You know, when we are in a relationship, it's between two people. Of course, the, the person that you are getting married or who you have, of course, they will have their mother, their father, their friends, their cousin, their sister, their brother, who we have to respect, of course. But a relationship is between two people, okay? And when a boy loves a girl, a girl loves a boy. You know, the relationship is between two persons. Even the Bible says, when you get married, he's talking to men. When you get married, you have to leave your mother and your father and stuck to your wife. This is what the Bible says. So first of all, it's also very important to understand that when you get married, do not get married to a womb, to a girl or a boy that is immature because you will have a lot of problems because when you get married, you will have to make important decisions. You will have to compromise. Um, and emotionally, if you will not understand each other because you're still immature in your head, right? So it's very important you don't marry men or women that are still a child. So when the Bible say that a, a boy, especially a, a man, the Bible talk about a man that you should leave your parents and, and, and stuck to your wife. We are not telling you to stop loving your mother. See, your mother has taken care of you when you were a child. He has given you food. He has bought you. He has given you her milk. But you need to understand, you cannot let your mother insult the woman that got that that you are getting married you cannot let your mother be the center of your attraction a mother is good he has given you everything but when you get married your married life is between you and your wife not between you and your father you and your mother you and your and your and your family members you know what happened when you are in a relationship you tell everyone about this relationship and you want to get advice. These people that are having a bad relationship, they will give you bad advice and you will take this advice and put it into your, your own relationship. That's why it's not, imp that's not, it's not good when you take advice from all kinds of people. Okay. And uh, now when a boy is, is getting married, a boy should should protect the the wife right he should protect the woman but the, you know what happened these men they are stuck under the skirt of their mother this is a way of saying and this is very bad because you have to be a man you have to be a leader for your house okay and you know the problem with a guy you're supposed to consider the woman or the, the girl that you're going to get married as a family member. You know what you do? You take that woman, your mother is your family, and you put that, that girl in front of you. You're, you're observing her. You scrutinize her. So you're like one year, two year observing her, and she, you don't even consider her the person that will give you a child, the person that will give you her life. You don't even consider her as your own family okay and then the worst thing is when you let your mother you give the mother permission to insult that woman or that woman that man that that girl that you are going to marry even women eh? i'm talking about women as well women that let their mother insult their their husband this is wrong as well but most of the time it happened with the mother-in-law okay of the of the, of the husband so the husband you need to protect your wife don't let your mother insult your wife because your mother has been your mother now you have to be stuck with your wife not with your mother especially mother who do not have a husband their husband is dead again i respect this woman they have done their best for their for their boy but when the boy is grown up let that man go and get married and be a man mother stop entering into into you know the family into the affairs the marriage affairs of your child 
When will mother stop doing that? You know, sometimes this is what happened. I understood that. When, you know why um, your daughter-in-law, why your daughter-in-law is bad to you? Because you're, you know, because now you're jealous that the, do the, the, the wife has taken the love of your son. You know, it happened, eh? Father-in-law is okay. They won't care. They will do, they will do their own life. But mother, even mother that are not married, you know that mother that do not have a husband, they will love their son so much. They will take their son, you know, keep their son like that. And this is bad, you know. So even if that mother had a husband, they wouldn't be stuck to their, to their son like that. They would be, but not that much. Now, the mother who even has their husband, they will still be stuck to their, to their son. And me, you know what? It's very wrong, you men, that you let your mother insult your wife or the girlfriend that you have. It's very bad. A relationship is between two two person, not the whole family. Yes, we respect the family. But if you let your mother insult that woman, insult that girl, this is wrong. How can you marry? And believe me, the, the, the bad girl, they would go away. You know, the, 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 the girl that love has a lot of boys after them, they will leave. But even that woman that is prayerful, that is stuck with you, that want to have a life partner with you, a lifelong, uh, you know, a life with you until she die. She will be fed up if you let your mother come and insult her and you stay there, you encourage your mother. Even that godly woman will leave you. That's why you say why women leave their husband because you don't know what is happening in their house. You don't know how the mother-in-law is treating them, how the family is treating them. Not even the not even the daughter-in-law. Even there are son-in-law that get treated like that from their wife family, and this is wrong. That is why you see the. That is why you see that um, household is being broken. Yeah, marriage is being broken, relationship is being broken because you allow all your family to enter into your matter, your love affair. And this is wrong. Now, boys, men, when you are having an issue with your wife, you have the right to tell your mother, you know, mom, I love you. I know you've taken care of me, you love me, but this is something between me and my wife, me and my girlfriend. You don't need to come and, and involve yourself. You know how your woman will love, will, would love you? If you don't respect your wife or your, your girlfriend and, you, don't le and your, you, you give your family, how do you say that? You give your family, you encourage your family to disrespect your own girlfriend. However that man or that woman would be, how good they can be, they will leave you because they will not allow disrespect from you. And you know how mothers are dramatic. They will tell the daughter-in-law, uh, you know what, this is my son, my heart will be broken. Who are you to talk like that with my son? So this is my husband. This is my boyfriend. I have the right. You know, we are going to live our life. We need to understand each other. Who are you, mother, to come and, and fight for your, for your son? So this is a relationship. That's why I'm telling you, do not marry with a child. Do not marry with a man that is under the skirt of their mother. I respect mothers. I have a mother. I respect her. But I will never allow my mother to come into my relationship and talk unless there is something which is very bad that is happening. So now you have this mother-in-law that will decide how many children their, their son will have. Only one child. Where they will live. The son will never leave them. They will be stuck with them. You know that woman that is marrying your son. He knows. She knows. You know, like not talking to me about all the girls and all the boys as well. We know how we want our house to be, you know. We want how to, we know how to direct our family. But if you mother-in-law, you try to say that it's you who is directing everything. Believe me, that daughter-in-law, even if it's a, 
son-in-law they will leave your son or your daughter and go so mother-in-law stay out of the wedding of your son or your daughter you are not giving them a child it's the daughter that is the the the, the, son, the daughter-in-law or the son-in-law that is giving a child so i'm talking to all the mother out there when your son is getting married stop being drama queen Stop pretending you're the one that is controlling the, the son. Because this relationship will break because of you. So guys, if you're going to marry someone, a girl, especially men, yeah, I'm talking to men especially, you're going to consider that woman or that girl that you're going to marry as a stranger. No respect for her. Anybody can come and talk to her. Believe me that person that is supposed to give you a child that person will leave you because nowadays no woman will stay with a man that do not respect her believe me i would do the same so we are talking about this this uh, this man that give uh, do not protect their that give the permission for their family to come and, and mistreat the wife or the girlfriend or the person that they are going to marry. You know, bad girls, they would go very long time. They will leave because they know they can have other men. But if you get a prayerful woman that is stuck by your side, that pray for you, that help you, even if you help her. But if you do not treat her well, you don't know how to talk to her. You don't know how to say I love you to her. That person, believe me, a moment he will go. He will wait for five years, ten years, two years. He will give you time. He will listen to you. He will be by your side. But believe me, one day, that man or that woman will leave you. So, you all mother-in-law, you have your, who has your husband, you have taken your husband away from their mother. Why do you hold your son? You don't want your son to hold to their wife. You know why daughter-in-law become bad? Because of the jealousy of mother-in-law. Stop doing that. I have seen it. Oh my God. I have seen people suffering because of the jealousy of mother-in-law. This is wrong. You need to let your daughter and your son live. Also, I'm talking about girls that allow their mother to come and, and, and say bad thing to their husband. I'm talking to you also. A relationship is between you and your husband, not your mother, your father, your, your brother, your sister, your cousin, your friend. Oh my God. Also, keep your relationship secret. You know what happened? When people, some people will see your relationship they will be jealous they will they can tell you something bad about this person even lie about this this person you know why because they don't have good relationship they will they will bring their negativity on that person and your relationship will break my friend hmm. believe who oh, you believe your family you cannot listen to these people because maybe this person that is saying bad thing about your relationship, giving you advice, he has a very bad attitude. That's why his, uh, how do you say that? That's why his relationship did not work. And you are taking this bad experience from someone else. You are putting that on your relationship. Those men that are getting married, please. Do not let your mother be the one that rules your, your, your wife. Because this woman, believe me, if he's a good woman or she's a bad woman, whatever she is, she's going to leave you. I will not even accept this myself. I will give you time, but I will not let you, you know, govern me like that.